And now on seven, personal protective equipment or PPE. Producing it and getting it to those in need can be a challenge during the pandemic. 7 News' is Jennifer Martin is live in Gaffney ahead of Senator Lindsey Graham's visit today. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, good morning, Fred. So uh, this North Carolina-based manufacturing company, Parkdale Mills, has a plant several places, but it also has one here in Gaffney. So this is the plant where Senator Lindsey Graham is going to be visiting today. And here at this manufacturing company, they have been making cotton masks. They've been making yarn for cotton, cotton masks that will be distributed throughout the country. And they've been doing this for months now. So uh, I was talking to the plant manager here. He said that since the pandemic began, they have made 600 million masks, that much yarn for those that many masks. And that's at a rate of 10 million masks per week. Today, Senator Graham will discuss his legislation, the U.S. MADE Act. It's meant to decrease the U.S. dependence on countries like China for PPE. He says that he wants his home state of South Carolina to be a leader in PPE production. Also says that he's pushing for the U.S. MADE Act to be included in a phase four coronavirus relief package. So the package should be big. It should be robust. It should be focused on having the equipment and the supplies you need to maintain and manage the virus until we get a vaccine. And Senator Graham is scheduled to meet with industry officials today at noon. And then uh, following that, he will have a tour of this facility and then he'll speak about that act that I mentioned. Also, the plant manager here said that the yarn that they're using is made in South Carolina. Live, or was grown in South Carolina, that is. Uh, live in Gaffney, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. Thanks, Jennifer. We do want to note Senator Graham is running for re-election in November against Democratic candidate Jamie Harrison.